what is going on guys it is humble cuber here and in today's video i'll be going over an f2l look ahead technique so there is uh only one other video on youtube about this f2l look ahead technique and i ended up stumbling upon it on the speed solving forums but that video was around nine years ago and it didn't go into much detail about the technique itself so today i'm here with a more in-depth tutorial and uh look ahead technique so I will leave a link to the original video down inside the description below if you guys want to go ahead and check that out. But without further ado, let's just hop right into it. So basically how this works is exactly like it sounds. What you're essentially going to be doing is tracking a piece while turning really fast. So here's what I mean. So I'll just find a corner to start off with. Let's say I found the yellow, green, and orange corner. You want to be doing is spamming TPS really fast while tracking that one piece around the cube. Just like that. And you want to take note of where it is at the end just so you remember where it's at and stuff like that. So, I recommend starting off with 2 gen like I just said, so only using R and U moves. Which that should just be super simple. It's just a good start to get off with. Because it is a little bit easier and eventually you'll be able to get turned on all faces and start to speed up more. So I'll track the same piece again. And then you can start speeding up, doing turns on other faces as well while still keeping track of that piece. Alrighty, so... Oh, my cue went out of frame, sorry. Okay, so, and yeah, once you start mastering that, you can track more than one piece at a time, and then you can slowly start adding more pieces to it, as well as speeding up a little bit more. Why is this an important look-ahead technique? Well, in F2L, you're going to be wanting to track pieces while inserting pairs. So, while inserting a pair, you're going to want to be tracking and taking note of where other pieces are. So, as you finish that, you can move fluidly into your next pair. Also, if you are capable of tracking a piece while doing super fast TPS, then it should be easy for you to track a piece during F2L, because you're not going to spam full TPS during your F2L, most likely. Well, yeah, that wraps it up for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like, and while you're down there, go ahead and subscribe as well. It costs nothing. And turn on notifications so you don't miss another one of my uploads. I'll see you guys in the next video, and as always, remain humble.